Let's talk about how I take notes. Okay, wait, what was I doing? The way that I take notes is not super conventional. I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube explaining this is how I take notes. They're always really neat, really clean, really orderly. How I take notes is kind of a complete storm. All right, so this is a mistake. This is disgusting. I mean, there is some sort of structure to it, but not really. The way that my brain works is it's really messy. It's nothing like those videos that you see online of people's like notes being perfect. It's filled with calligraphy, color. Mm, no, not at all. That's not how my notes are and that's not how my brain works. Does anyone's notes look like that though? I don't think I've seen a single person's notes that actually looks like that. If that's your notes though, go the frick ahead. Be the next Pablo Picasso, be the next Michelangelo, be the next Renault. Was that a painter? I don't even know. Meanwhile, I'll be here with my notes that are completely graphite stained. The thing that I have about those videos that show you all like those pretty notes with all those different colors and stuff, I try to do that. I remember in high school in like maybe 10th or 11th grade, it was impossible though. It was wasting so much time. It takes so much time to make your notes look pretty. And for what reason, if I'm not even absorbing the material and I'm just so focused on how to make my notes pretty, that's just stupid. Why would I do that? I'm gonna do this in the back of my econ notes. So I had my pencil pouch. I had like multiple highlighters. And you can see how many pencils there are in here. Probably 90% of these don't work. Here's my one pencil that works. Doesn't work. This doesn't work. Also doesn't work. This doesn't work. Neither does this one. Aside from the point. I was ready with these pencil, pen, and highlighters. I would go to take notes. That's not exactly how it happened, but it's kind of close. I wouldn't have the time to sit there in class and create these really pretty notes. I don't have time to switch between 13 different highlighters and 57 different pens. I have maybe two or three pencils that work, a pen that works, and two highlighters. If I was to give you some advice on taking notes, here is what I would say. Take notes the way that you learn. If you're one of those super organizational freaks, then go for it. If you're like a mind map person and you like to draw pictures, draw pictures in your notes. If you're even an auditory learner, just write down keywords so you can remember what the professor said or even a voice record your lecture. That's just the way that you learn. Just make the most efficient use of your time, people. Don't waste your time trying to recreate these perfect artistic aesthetic notes. No one has time for that. I don't have time for that. So I go back to my complete mess note taking method, which I find pretty effective. I think it would be cool to show you my notes. <coughs> Ugh. All right. So this is a mistake. This is disgusting. With my notes, I want them to be readable. I'm not wanting to them for them to be pretty per se. In the margins here, I kind of like write down any like comments that I have. If we take a look here, this is like my messy notes. Oh, here's my favorite thing about my notes. Toward the end of the year, I just don't finish my notes sometimes. Oh, here are my favorite notes right here. I do highlight some stuff. I do try, I put a little bit of effort into my notes. I just realized that nowhere in this do I actually explain how I take my notes. So I'll do it right now. Number one is I take notes trying to keep up with what the professor is saying and their slides because 90% of the time they're speeding through their slides and I don't know what the heck is going on. Second, I, um, what do I do? 
after the lecture or when I'm studying for tests, I go in and I annotate in the margins of the paper. That way I fill in any gaps in knowledge that I have. And that way I know what the heck is going on. For each class, your notes are gonna be a little bit different. For econ, I focused on certain keywords, figuring out certain relationships between variables, like graphs and stuff, whatever. For linear algebra, which is like a pretty different topic, right? My notes are quite different. Uh, and, um, where the hell was I going with this? Oh yeah, so I was taking 1553, took pretty consistent, good notes at the beginning of the year, looked really nice, artistic. I mean, not super artistic, because I don't have any artistic ability. <laughs> That's so funny. I think my notes are artsy. I wasn't understanding anything because I was just so focused on making these notes look good. When the tests and quizzes come around, I didn't even do that well. And then what I ended up doing is I wrote down less notes and actually understood the material more. Who would have thought? Like who expects that? Everyone says like write down everything. For me, that did not work at all. In linear algebra, one thing is just, just, the just, the just. Can I like speak properly? I'm trying to say there's just so many different words and so many complicated ways of saying the exact same thing. Moral of the story, if it's not you to make your notes pretty, don't do it. Do the note, do the notes. Take notes the way that you learn whether that be a mind map, whether that be extremely messy or that be pictures whether that be recording the lecture and just writing down keywords. Just do the things that help you learn. Like don't try to recreate these ridiculous, super pretty types of notes. It just doesn't make sense. I can't find a way to freaking end this. Happy note taking. No, that's a bad one.